We welcome you to the third annual Heart Baseball Media Day. I'm your host, Heart Correspondent and voice of the Arkansas Travelers, Stephen Davis. Next up, we have the defending Heart regular season champs and coach of the year, Coach Nate Breland from Central Methodist, as well as senior Bobby Nichols. Coach Breland, Bobby, how are things in Fayette today? They're going good. Yeah, everything's going good. We're going to get a little hour and a half workout in and get ready for tomorrow. All right, Coach, how's the energy with this team right now? Is your squad excited to get rolling? Yeah, I think they're ready to go. Uh, of course, we'll find out tomorrow when we go to Warrensburg, but I think they're excited. I think we're all ready to go. Um, you practice all fall, and then uh, you come back, and you practice for three weeks, and you get about tired of facing the same pitching and the same hitters, and you know it's ready to get out there and kind of see what things look like. Introduce us to the guy sitting next to you. Tell us about Bobby and what he means to the program. Yeah, um, Bobby's a senior for me now. He's a three-year player for me, which is an extended time in my program. Um, normally, we're a lot of two-year guys. Uh, Bobby had an extra COVID year, uh, decided to come back and finish his last year and finish his degree for us. Um, Bobby's been a three-year starter, three-year leadoff hitter for me, um, and uh, just an elite guy. Um, if there was things I wanted to say about Bobby, is I would tell you, you know, he's up there in the top one or two most loyal players um, that I've ever coached, and uh you know, I think that's great for this program. I think that's great for the coaching staff, and I'm excited for him to have a big year and then graduate in May. Bobby, uh, back up what Coach just told us now. You came back to finish your degree, among other things, along with playing baseball. What's your major, and uh, what are you hoping to do post-baseball and post-school? Uh, my major is sports management, and I would love to stay in the, the game of baseball, so trying to just stay in the game, but uh, we'll see where, what happens after that. Take us through your baseball journey. You're, you're from the Detroit area originally. Uh, when did you start playing, and, and how did you make your way down to CMU? I started playing the game probably when I was about four or five. My dad was coaching me and my brother. And uh, went to high school in Detroit, went JUCO after that, and then got blessed with the opportunity to play here. Coach, you're a CMU alum. You've led the Eagles now for over a decade. What does it mean to you to be there at, uh, at your alma mater and lead the program to some big heights? Oh, it's always exciting. I mean, I enjoy being here. It's a comfortable place for me to be. Um, you know, we've had the opportunity to, to surround ourselves with some great players and some great men. And, you know, I've worked with some great coaches and been a part of strong administration that I think has allowed us to to get to the level that we're getting to and, and trying to keep it there. And, um, you know, there's always a passion. I mean, I played on the same field that Bobby plays and I, I hawk down balls in center field the same way he does. I mean, so, you know, there's some there's some passion and, and stuff to that. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just wanted to make this place better than what it was when I was here. And that's just what we're trying to do. Well, one of the things that's better now since you were there is the fairly new turf field you guys have. How big is that for the program, for, for the players and for recruiting to have that and some updates to the stadium, too? No, I think it's a game changer. You know, we're we're at the level that other people, you know, are getting to or have been. And, you know, it just gives us the opportunity to work on a lot of things and, and be able to be unique with practices and have multiple things going on at the same time. And, you know, it just gives the guys the opportunity to be down there all day long. Um, you know, we'll trot the machine out there and they can hit all through the day. And, you know, it just gives them the flexibility, you know, to to use the facility as much as possible. Bobby, how much do you and your teammates enjoy that turf field out there? Uh, we love it. We love the opportunity to be out there and don't have to do any uh, field work after <laughs> practice or games. So we love it. That's great stuff. Coach mentioned, you know, he was shagging down balls in center field like you do. Does Coach ever jump out there with you and show you how it's done? No, nah, he hasn't came out there yet with me, but hopefully that can happen soon. <laughs> Those days have come and gone, brother. <laughs> Well, Bobby, you won a, a heart gold glove last year. You were on the gold glove team for the league. What did that honor mean to you? Uh, I mean, everything. I didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't know it was happening. But it was uh, it was a great opportunity for me to get that award. Yeah, Bobby didn't come to us as an outfielder. Uh, Bobby came to us as an infielder. And uh, we had a really good uh, recruiting class that year on the infield. And I thought there was a lot of athleticism being wasted um, with Bobby. Uh, not that he couldn't do the job and couldn't win the job. Uh, just when I looked at him and, and saw the way his demeanor was and the way he attacks the game, I said, man, this dude's got to be in center. And uh, we started working on it when he got here, and the rest was history. Well, seems like a, a good move that has paid off. Uh, Coach, uh, back to the league for a moment. The, the Hearts had two different teams that have made it all the way to Lewiston now for the World Series. 
your squad did it. MNU's done it. What does it say about the the heart and the the talent that's in this league right now? Yeah, I think the heart has some really strong coaches and uh, some coaches that get it. And uh, they're going out and, and competing against top teams early and they're understanding, you know, what it takes to be at that level. I think, you know, 10 years ago, if you would ask me five years ago, I would have just said that the conference didn't know what that level was like. And, uh, you know, we've encouraged each other to get out and play tough schedules early. And, uh, you know, when you have good coaches that want to be successful, they have to adapt to talent and, and the way they do things. And I think they've done a great job bringing in better athletes and uh, putting better product on the field. Well, individually, it takes a village to run each program. Talk about uh, the folks you have helping you out, your assistants and other people who help your program go. Yeah, so Coach Ehlers had been with me for 10 years as my head assistant, and he moved on as the head at Shawnee State this year, where I think he's going to do some really nice things over the next couple of years. Um, but I was able to promote Jordan Schwellenbach, who had been my pitching coach um, for the last several years, and now he's my head assistant, does a terrific job. Um, I brought on two new GAs, one GA that was uh, a role player, backup first baseman for me for two years um, that just has that coaching, you know, in his blood. And then uh, Jeff Mulliken at Olivet hooked me up with his student coach um, that I've brought down here um, that's going to do some great things. I think Clay's going to be outstanding um, on the behind the scenes work and uh, the day to day tasks with the guys. So I feel good about my coaching staff. Um, feel really good. We had a strong fall and we're off to a good start this spring. So Bobby, let's flip back over to you. What are some goals you guys have this year as a team uh, for the season? Uh, this year, we're really just trying to stay in the moment, uh, win game by game. We obviously want to win a regular season conference championship and then uh, make it to Lewiston, but uh, really just going game by game. You guys are headed down south here pretty soon. You're going to go to Texas and to Louisiana for some ball games. How much are you looking forward to competing against some new teams and getting some warmer weather? Or do you like the cold? Uh, I really, I'm, I'm, a, I'm used to the cold, but I don't really like it. But uh, yeah, we love the opportunity to go down to Texas and Louisiana. It's always great competition and uh, just show our talents out there. Coach, you guys have always had uh, seemingly in the last few years some stellar pitching. Uh, who's going to be big parts of your staff this year in 2024? Yeah, I mean, we only lost one arm off of that that pitching staff last year. Um, but, you know, Coach Swelly did a good job bringing in some good arms, you know. Um, I think Foster Sites will lead us in the number one spot and, you know, have an opportunity to go out there and do that. And we still have Escobar, you know, who's won 18 games in two years for me. Um, we still have Clayton Burke, you know, who won nine games last year for us on the mound. And, you know, I still bring back Randy, you know, who won seven games for us uh, pitching in the four spot. Um, then we added some nice arms with Ray Ochoa and I bring my bullpen back with Riddle, who was our closer last year. And Sears was my closer in 2022, but had Tommy John, he's back a hundred percent. So he'll, he'll be behind the plate in closing role. Um, you know, I added, uh, Landon Win Willingham from Fort Scott, who's a big arm, big six, five, 250 pound guy. You know, we have a really good pitching staff. I feel excited about it. They've been pounding the zone early. Um, and that's kind of what, what we're looking for right now. Sounds like it'll be a fun group. Bobby, we'll wrap things up with you. You're the leadoff hitter, but you got to have a walk-up song to get things going. What do you got for a tune for a walk-up for this season? I haven't uh, decided yet. It's kind of a hard choice this year. Not much music dropping yet, but uh, I'll make a decision like probably this weekend, hopefully. All right, Coach, Bobby, thanks so much for the time. Best of luck to the Eagles this year. Yeah, we yeah, appreciate your you. time. Thank you.